Away from COVID-related stories, the Bureau of Public Safety has presented its first half crime report for the first half of 2021. Now, violent crimes reported has increased from 183 in 2020 to 220 in 2021, representing a 20% increase. Now, the top five most reported violent crimes are murder or manslaughter, armed robbery, assault, burglary, and suicide cases. Now, firearm use in the Commission of Violent Crimes has also increased by 79% over the same period in 2020, and 74% of reported armed robbery cases involve the use of firearms, while 20% of homicides involved firearm use. Also, more than 80% of violent crimes occurred outside of a place of abode or homes of the victims, and more than 95% of armed robbery incidents occurred outside of a home and 76% of murder and manslaughter cases were reported to have occurred out of a home. Now, violent crime deaths reported increased from 134 in 2020 to 171 in 2021, representing a 28% increase in numbers. Now, Central Region recorded the most reported suicide cases of six out of a total of 21 cases for the period in 2021, representing 29% of suicide reported across the country. And that was followed by the Greater Accra region with 14% of the cases. And fascinatingly, more females, as 59%, were reported as victims of murder and manslaughter cases, while 81% of the males were reported as victims of armed robbery events. Chief of Party at the Bureau of Public Safety, Nanaya Akwada, joins me for a conversation on this. Thank you, Nanaya, for joining us. Now, these are very startling statistics, if you ask me. What, in your view, has accounted for all of these? Hello, Nanaya. I'm afraid we're working the lines together. Nanaya will join us on the line to explain to us what may have ac accounted for the rise in those violent crimes across the country with the central region particularly cited having recorded the highest number of suicide cases and as well as some violent crimes in the country. Nanaya Akwada, head of party, Bureau of Public Safety. If you can hear me, I'm asking, what did you find out as the causes of these uh, increasing cases that you have just found out? Hello, Nanaya. Hello. Great. I was asking what Hello? has accounted for the spike in cases as you've had it. Well, I'm sorry, but I, you are very, very thin. Um, Let me try one more time, Nanaya. If this is clear, I'm asking what may have accounted for the increase in violent crimes have you found? Well, thank you very much. Um, um, good afternoon to your viewers. Unfortunately, I'm unable to... Um, adequately speak to the qualitative aspect of um, the report that we issued because, as you know, this is purely a quantitative um, exercise and if you invite me in that realm, I'll be probably be doing a pure guesswork. The reason I ask is because you may have done a lot of research in this area, spoken to people, and so then that would have been found. But if that is not clear, let us go to the recommendations that you're making to state institutions in this regard to deal with the matters. Thank you. Well, basically, um, the report centered on public safety and crime. So we scooped uh, incidents that have already happened and we divided into several, several um, categories. But broad categories, we are looking at violent crimes, we are looking at road traffic crashes and um, law enforcement and efforts. We observed that we observed increases in violent crimes. And in reference to specific reference to um, murder and manslaughter issues, armed robbery, assault, burglary, and suicide cases in the first half. Now, if we compare this first half of 2021 to 2020, we saw increases in all of them, which um, is not desirable. Particularly, we realize that firearm use in the commission of violent crime also increased uh, if you compare period by period by 79%. Uh, we feel that it's about time the state 
uh, focus a lot more attention. So we have indicated that gun control in the country will require a lot more effort than it's currently being done. I know currently that there are efforts to review the legal regime of the National Commission on Small um, and Light, Small and Light, uh, Small Arms and Light Weapons, and to create a multi-agency cooperation system that will involve customs and other state agencies. We think that that effort must be hastened. All right. We also indicate that in respect of violent crimes itself, armed robbery and homicide, particularly uh, of interest, is that contrary to what we've always known in the past, that armed robbery and, and homicide cases were occurred most in the home or within the communities. Now what we are seeing is that these armed robbery incidents are occurring in broad daylight on our roads, our highways, offices, places of worship, and transitional spaces other than the homes. And so we need to educate the public on the dangers of transitional spaces, places where you don't have control of who comes in and who goes, places where you don't have control of who enters your private space and who does not. It is important that we maintain a high sense of awareness, and this can only come out of consistent public education. We also indicated that we need the police to improve on community policing. This is not the first time we are making this call. I believe that uh, the new IDP, we indicated that his job is cut out for him. These and more are the things that we need to see the police you know, respond to so that we'll be able to stem the tide of, uh, of violent crime in our, in our country. We have indicated that those CCTV cameras littered across the country. While we urge the Interior Ministry and the Allied uh, agencies to deploy these cameras, we are also asking them to periodically publish footages that these CCTVs are captioned so that people will know that they are not just there for uh, city beautification. They are actually there to capture such crimes. And those crimes that are captured after publication, when the perpetrators are arrested, it must be made public. When people know that these CCTV footages are actually working and it's helping the police to, to apprehend uh, criminal suspects or criminals. All right. Uh, we'll leave it here, to, Chief of Party of the Bureau of Public Safety, Nanaya you know, Akwada. We appreciate that you could join us. Subsequently, we'll be engaging you for a lot more on the way forward to reduce the numbers of violent crimes across the country. This is